So you'll notice that this painting looks very different than the previous video where I showed you mark making techniques, including these watercolor flowers that I did by dipping my water soluble uh, super color soft Karin Dosh crayon in water while I made the illustrative marks in the flower shape. Um, what I had done is I consider this, uh, I resolved my painting. So when I had turned off the video and went back to the painting later in the day, which is sort of part of my process, um, and I hope to teach you that process as well, um, the term I use is resolving the painting. And I got that term from this incredible artist, Helen Wells. Um, she's a wonderful YouTube artist and has very inspiring videos. And I really love her work. And she talks about also resolving her pa paintings. And I really relate to that. It's almost like an editing process. So um, sometimes when I'm filming, I don't fully maybe um, get as, what do I say, loose with what I'm doing. And I don't do my full resolution process because I'm sort of thinking about the videotape angle, you know, where my equipment is, the lighting, the sound. So there's so many variables going on. And when I turn my video off, I'm really able to go back to that place, which is why I paint in the first place um, for enjoyment, uh, to kind of stay present in the moment, to paint very intuitively, and to really find mark making that I love. So if you see this painting now, you'll notice that it looks different than when I turned off the video. I added a little bit of a lighter Neo Color Karin Dosh water soluble crayon over the orange. The orange was just too dark for me. I added this beautiful neon highlight. Um, I just love this um, highlighting uh, pencil and I use that just to highlight these areas in the middle. And I love these pencils because they just add sort of a matte finish, if you can see that. And I feel like the matte finish contrasts with the shimmer in the watercolor and the other marks. I also used my uh, my watercolor brush and I took away the white water soluble pencil crayon. I dabbed it off and I went back in with dark, like a black water soluble pencil crayon. So the white just wasn't doing it for me. And so um, again, I'm resolving this in a way where I'm repeating elements that I loved and I'm sort of editing or taking out or covering up mark making elements that just I didn't love. Um, and now I can say I truly love this painting. So it took some practice. You can see I added in um, a gelato. So I used my finger and I put um, this Faber cast out, looks like a chapstick, and I really rubbed it in hard uh, with my finger in these areas. And this was sort of like a white out, but it's... Um, I guess I'm using like a gelato out <laughs> and I took out the purple because I could see this purple hue in the painting where um, my colors were kind of combining and I really didn't like it. I don't use a lot of purple in my work and I feel like there's a place for it, but it was not in this painting. So I started to really love the painting more when I took out that purple um, added this neon orange as a pop of color. Lately, I've really been craving the neons, more color in my work. I also um, had gone back and I had added, it's really subtle, but a little bit of a gray water soluble pencil crayon in between just one side of this leaf shape. Um, and so again, I'm not on really high definition here, but if you look closely, it just changed the look and sort of brought this feather together. It didn't really cry out this white illustrative mark. I didn't really care for that. I believe I added in these Neo Color Karin Dosh uh, crayons. Um, so again, this is uh, one of my favorite art supplies of all time. Um, I love this gray, but I just love this brand. So um, again, this is Neo Color Karin Dosh, a Swiss company that makes um, lots of different products, but these crayons come in Neo Color ones, which will say wax on them. And the wax is non-water soluble and they're incredible. I'll show you sort of how I love to use them, but they're so versatile. And when you add water to them, they do not move. 
These, however, are Neocolor 2s. So the Neocolor 2 crayons, again, they look alike, but the number 2s, they say Aquarel, which is water-soluble wax pastel. So it's water-soluble, and so when you put it over top of something and say you don't like it, you can again come in, add water, and remove it and add a different color. It's like watercolor in a crayon. These are awesome. If you're traveling and you want to do watercolor, you could just take some of your favorite colors. These will turn into water when you um, make the mark and then use your watercolor brush over top. You can blend them. And I use them when I'm doing outlines over top of acrylic paint. So if I have this massive canvas and I just don't know, I'm not confident in just going in and painting, you know, something over top like a portrait, I will use either chalk, so just a cheap chalkboard chalk, or um, these water soluble Neocolor Carn Dash 2 crayons because you can just go over top of the acrylic paint and then, you know, paint over it, put in your uh, image that you love, and then go back later and wipe it off. And of course, if you're using acrylic paint as your image, the acrylic is plastic and it's permanent and it will stay put. So just a little, um, I'm kind of sidetracking, but these are awesome. So I added those in in this area. I also went over the little footprints again with my uh, jelly roll pens, my um, uh, J, or sorry, G, I always wanna say J, because I'm looking at Japan. G-E-L-L -L roll. These are wonderful. They don't always work though. So every now and then you'll buy a box and you know five out of 20 may not work. So they're good but I wouldn't say they're sort of my favorite as far as um, uh, reliability. So other than that I can't think of what other things I may have done. Maybe added some more white mark making but this just gives gives you an example of how I edited my work to love it. So again, you need to finish your work, put it somewhere and look at it for a while, get in the habit of repeating what you love and then removing what you don't. And this was the other project I had started before I closed off my last video. We put down some collage and while the camera was off, I just continued on with my uh, water soluble pencil crayon and I, I kind of continued on the collage marks in this red and um, this, it turns out, was a bleeding collage paper, which is really cool. It has very interesting texture, and you can see I wasn't able to hold the line work without it bleeding, which is a really neat look, and I feel like there is a place for this. Um, so this was given to me by another artist. I'm not sure. They must have found it at the dollar store, but there is bleeding paper, and paper that when you add water to it, I believe it actually, um, the color comes out onto your uh, watercolor paper. So I just wanted to show you that. You can see where when I added green watercolor here, it really um, bled into this area. So this was just my practice of using collage and starting a painting. I have no idea where it's where it's going to go, but I am going to do another video soon on sort of finishing it up. Um, or I might do something all together, maybe a new collage piece, um, because as an artist, I just get bored. So this video is all about um, exploring the things that I love and hopefully inspiring you along the way. So keep the questions coming and your comments. I'm so grateful to you all for watching. And I'll do a video on all of my favorite art supplies because there's just some of my go-to supplies that I use all the time, like these Neocolor Car and Dash crayons. Um, I'll just show you this box. I just recently got a new set um, because you can see I'd gone through my old set quite quickly. Um, I use them all the time. I love them. So if you can afford one or two uh, at your local um, art supply store, you know, they do often sell these individually now and they're just incredible. You will not be disappointed. And there's so many ways you can use them, even if it's not described in the manual. So um, happy creating and we will see you soon.